Thank you. How, how was the business for you in the last couple of years? Couple of years, no tour. No, no tour. What, what, can I ask what you did in the meanwhile? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, really. Okay, so let's get you to work. A good afternoon. I'm here in front of the Grand Palace and the reason that I'm here is because I want to show you the new waiting area that's been created here. It opened on the 1st of January. It's air conditioned, it's perfect for the warm weather here and you have toilets, you can buy sarongs. Let's go and check it out. This is something that's interesting to know anyway. If you want to go to the Grand Palace, you need to have your long pants. How much is this one? 100 baht. Okay, next time. So you need to get your long pants and uh, you can buy that here or you can actually rent it as well at the palace but uh, we are not here for the palace we are not here for the long pants i'm here to show you the big waiting space here there are four exits or four entrances oh it's so nice to uh, to have the freshness in here So this is a massive waiting area which uh, it looks like they have enough space to do some ceremonies in here as well. On the side there you can see there are a lot of old pictures of the area. So you would almost say this also uh, functions as a museum. So here you have a picture of the whole Ratanaposin island where here you have the Grand Palace where we are so we are basically in this area here you have another tunnel that connects with the pier here so this is interesting this is a nice view of how the Ratanaposin island works so you have the canal on the outside and that's why they call this an island and there are three modes it's almost like Amsterdam I'm from Holland so <laughs> similar build-up but if you're in the city it looks a bit different oh this is just really cool so here you have the road that leads up to the democracy monument and this building here this is all gone interesting to see how it used to be all right if you like history you should really come here oh here you even have a better picture of the area see this is the mahakan fortress and here you have the moat that goes around the island. It's an attraction in its own right. With the icon Siam. So then if you want to go to the palace, you take uh, the exit number four. And from here you walk straight up to the entrance of the palace. This is a very important area as well. And this is something that has always been 
an issue with people that visit the Grand Palace. You have plenty of toilets here. I read that there are 51 lady toilets. I'm not gonna check that. And here you can actually buy a sarong. Uh, if you visit the Grand Palace, you need to cover your legs. So uh, it's nice that you can buy them here. You can also rent them at the palace. So what do Yeah, so I just came here on my bicycle. I am not prepared for going into the palace. But you see everybody is dressed in traditional clothing. So if you come from the Kausan area, you probably will end up here at entrance number one. And here across the street, you have the entrance number two. So this is the square in front of the Grand Palace where they've been constructing this whole project. I think it was about two years. There you have the entrance of the Grand Palace. This is the part that was already finished last year. And again, here you have a couple of toilets. So if you go to the Grand Palace and you need to relieve yourself, just uh, do that in one of these waiting rooms here. And this is also like a kind of museum. I noticed this very nice gentleman, he's a tour guide and he can give tours in English. Sawadikap? Sawadikap. Sorry, what is your name? Kuntawi. Kuntawi, okay. Yeah. And if somebody wants to book you for a tour, how much is it? Yeah. One person, 500 baht, one hour tour. Okay. Two person, 600 baht. Three person, 800 baht per hour. Okay, okay. Very nice. I hope you get a lot of tourists. Thank you. How, how was the business for you in the last couple of years? Couple of years, no tour. No, no tour. What, what, can I ask what you did in the meanwhile? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, really. Okay, so let's get you to work. So another great project here in the city of Bangkok. I think this is the fourth or the fifth construction update I give in the first week of 2023. We're gonna get busy this year. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this update regarding the waiting room here in front of the Grand Palace. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe. Drop me a line and see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh...